वेलकम टू फ्रेंड्स टू स्पाइस बॉक्स टुडे वी शैल प्रिपेयर लापसी शीरा फॉर दैट वी विल रिक्वायर लापसी शुगर आमंड स्लिवर्स फॉर गार्निशिंग पाउडर्ड कार्डमम रेजन्स इफ रिक्वायर एंड घी नाउ लेट्स टेक सम घी इन अ पैन एज कंपेयर टू रवा यू रिक्वायर लेस घी फॉर लापसी द घी इज हॉट नाउ लेट्स ऐड लापसी टू इट take about 3 to 4 large spoons of lapsi and uh, let's saute it till it turns light brown in color even if one does not know much about this dish still you will know that it is cooked due to its aroma and it is also said that this is a very traditional sort of a dish passed on from generations and even today this dish is equally popular as you can see it has turned light brown in color Even those youngsters who do not know cooking can try this dish out. It's very easy to make. You just need to take care that the lapsi does not stick to the pan. So just keep stirring it so that the lapsi is equally roasted from all sides. Now the lapsi is roasted. Let's add some water to it. But before that, let's add some raisins. I have taken 15 20, but if you want more, you can add as many as you like. But friends, please remember one more thing. Always use hot water. If you use normal water, then the lapsi will not get cooked properly. I have hot water with me here. Let's add it. We shall add the water gradually because if the meat is old, it will require more water. And if it is new, it will require very less water. We need to keep an eye. Once we see that the grains are cooked, stop adding water. In olden days the grains were ground at home itself so they knew very well whether the grains are old or new Nowadays we all use ready stuff and still if you do not understand whether the lapsi is cooked or not then all you have to do is just uh, crush about one or two grains in your fingers they are still uncooked Let's add some more water Whenever you want to add sugar to it, always add the sugar only after you've added water. After the water is soaked, add sugar to it. Because sugar also melts and it transforms into a wonderful syrup. As you can see, the lapsi started to leave the sides of the pan. Means the water is well absorbed. Now let's add the sugar to it. Ideally, the sugar should be three fourths the amount of wheat taken. So now let's add two last tablespoons of sugar to this. After adding sugar, just remember one thing: constantly keep stirring it, because if the sugar gets burnt, it will spoil the taste of the dish. And we don't want that. And burnt sugar does not taste good, does it? And once it starts bubbling, add some cardamom powder. The flavor of the cardamom powder mixes really well with the lapsi. Just about a spoonful. Cardamom powder. Water is absorbed. Lapsi is leaving the base of the pan. As you can see, it has started thickening, and as it starts to cool down, its consistency will get better. So let's serve it now. We have almond slivers. Let's garnish this. Now some raisins to it. So here we have friends a very traditionally cooked and a very healthy sweet lapsi shira 